today I want to show you how you can change the color theme of your Vim, which is probably one of the things you all are looking forward to. And um, currently I'm using the Solarize Dark theme. And let's switch to the light theme. Um, you, we need two things. First of all, an iTerm theme file and a Vim term uh, vim theme file and we can download the whole solarized um, package click here to download latest version and let's unzip the solarized zip and we see a lot of stuff for different code editors all solarized dark and light themes and we need item two colors solarized and the Vim color solarized. So now and you can do this with um, with a lot of different uh, color themes. The base 16 um, color theme uh, is is a, um, a whole palette of of different uh, themes you can use. And um, yeah, but you need two things: item and Vim. And now we've got uh, what we need. So. In iTerm, you can just hit Command and um, Comma and go into Profiles, Colors, Color Presets, Import, and then um, we are looking for the iTerm. iTerm, I'm blind. No, I'm not. Ah, uh, item 2 Colors Solarized and Light.item Colors and Open. Now nothing has changed because it's just imported and not selected. So Solarized Light and now item is Solarized Light. This is um, awesome and you see Vim has also changed quite a lot but it's not, not perfect. So what we need is so, um, the colors Solarized.Vim and we want to put uh, the file into dot vim slash colors so change here to dot vim slash colors and now you can see I've already pasted the solarized dot vim if you don't if you have no idea how you can get there you can just open dot and you will open the finder window in this uh, in this folder and you can just uh, copy paste or drag and drop the file there. So we have the solarized.vim and now we can go in one directory upwards and edit the vimrc file. Oh no, that was not what I intended. Dot files vim.vimrc. So nice. Um, for you, the, the um, .vimrc is probably on this um, in this folder, but uh, uh, for me it's in the dot .files. So don't worry, just go into your .vimrc file, and now we have to change color theme. Um, okay, <laughs> Solarize is a little bit um, problematic for demonstrating what I would uh, would what I. Um, wanted to show. Um, normally you would have some some theme. Ah, damn it! <laughs> um, what I wanted to show you is okay. Let's go back and create a group. So um, normally you just want would uh, color scheme solarized is what you want. Uh, what you want to write there it's just the name of the of the file that's all you need solarize is a special case because um, the dark and the light themes are both inside this one dot vim file so most of the time you will get two files for dark and light if the theme has two um, and the only thing you have to do is color scheme and then the name of the file and that's all you want to do now for solarized you have can set background dark change word to light and let's go here and now source my 
from the RC. And now the WinMRC file is reloaded and you have the light solo rest theme. Here it is still um, damaged because we haven't reloaded the theme. You can could also quit and go back into the file and everything is awesome again. So um, let's see, we could also change this to whoops, the base 16 ocean, right? Then go back into item preferences. Um, the ocean is my Martin April. So this is the dark theme. And now we reload the WimRC file with colon SO for source my WimRC. Hit enter. And now, and we need to change the background to. To dark and my WMRC. Oh, it's typed my WMRC. Now everything back to this. So remember item colors solar as dark. Close. Color scheme solarized. Comment this out, write for saving, then SO for source, done my WIMRC file to reload the WIMRC file and switched to the SolarEst theme. Um, that's all you need to do to change uh, your color scheme in WIM. Yeah, I hope this helps. I hope you can now um, have WIM exactly like you like it and um, have fun with it. See you next time, bye.